Thanks a lot, Scott. Yeah, I'm here with New Hampshire's Dalton Crossing and defensive back Casey DeAndre. I'm going to begin with you, Dalton. First of all, we got to talk about the new digs over at New Hampshire Stadium. What has it been like watching that construction the last few years, and how excited is the team to be playing in that new venue? Um, you know, I think we're all very excited, um, not just us, but, you know, the whole entire community, um, the whole program. It's, it's been really cool to watch it go up. And uh, you know we can't we can't wait to uh, to just get in there and and have that electric atmosphere come game day. Absolutely exciting times in Durham. Let's talk about your season last year. It was a bit of a bounce back year for you. You dealt with some injuries during your sophomore campaign. Over 1,700 all-purpose yards. Uh, you know, talk about last season and how you're able to kind of you know build on that for this year. Uh, yeah, you know, uh, sophomore year was tough, um, but you know I had a, a great group of guys around me, you know, to uh, to bring me along, and then. Last year was a uh, was a good year for me and for the team. Um, you know, we uh, we wound up making the playoffs again. Um, so you know, it's just kind of just working hard every day um, with my teammates and, and just trying and be the best I can for those guys. Y'all, you guys had some superstars on that side of the ball the last few years. The Nico Storettis, the R.J. Harris is you know two years ago, and then last year you know you have Sean Goldrich. He's gone now. Talk a little bit about the transition this offense is making and the progressions as well. Um, definitely, you know, there's been a lot of new faces, um, a lot of young guys stepping up, you know, each year, um, which I think we need, and, and uh, we definitely have been getting a lot of that. Um, so, you know, it's good. We uh, we have a lot of a lot of young guys again this year um, who I think are going to step up, and you know, we're just we're working hard. We had a great summer, a great spring, and we're just ready to get rolling. You guys are looking to make the playoffs for the 13th straight season, the longest active streak in NCAA uh, Division One. What is it going to take this year? For you guys to get back once again, you know, a lot more of the same stuff. Um, like I said, it's it's kind of a mindset that we've had ever since we've been there, and I'm sure before we've been there that the, that the New Hampshire program has had is just hard work. Um, you know, um, Coach Mack always says uh, hard hats, lunch buckets. We just kind of go out there, get our job done. Everybody does their job, doesn't try and do too much. And, you know, we don't really try and focus on that playoff mm -hmm. streak. We just try and take it day by day, game by game, and. Uh, you know, if we keep doing that, I think we'll be all right. We'll look forward to following that this season as we move over to Casey DeAndre. To Casey, a captain, you know, f you know, for incredible career at New Hampshire. It, it, the new digs, we have to talk about that first. I mean, especially it impacts the defensive side of the ball, trying to get that crowd sure, loud. Yeah. How excited yeah. are you to see that happen there? Um, I'm excited about it. I mean, I don't want the uh, everyone else to not think it's still a dungeon, so we're still going to keep <laughs> the dungeon uh flyers up and everything and hopefully keep the same aspects of that part but other than that it's awesome and it's, it's great for the whole state of New Hampshire just to be able to come to a new stadium and, and get the kids involved get everyone involved and, and just it's just a great opportunity for all of us. You've had an incredible year career there at New Hampshire what are you looking to accomplish here in your senior season? Um, I mean not, nothing really personal just more team oriented stuff I mean just continuing the playoff streak is big for us mm -hmm. and just you know just competing every week in and week out we're not going to have an easy game in CAA no one ever does but just mm -hmm. competing week in and week out and our senior class is leaving the same legacy you know as the people that were standing on their shoulders and hopefully just have the people younger than us look up to us like that. You know, it's fitting that you are named captain because you guys are replacing a lot on the defensive end to yeah. a lot of starters. Mm -hmm. Talk about some of the players that you're looking to see make an impact and, and what you expect out of the defense this year. Yeah, I'd say in the back half, um, with our other corner, Marquise Carr, Isaiah Perkins, those two have to step up. And I believe they had a great spring and a great summer. They've been up the whole time. And, uh, and the safeties, DeAndre Drummond, Gino Miller, I mean, Michael Balsamo, I can go on and on about the young kids that are going to have to step up. And I think they have. Like I said, everyone's had a great spring. And up front, I mean, our, our linebackers are great. They're all coming back from last year besides mm -hmm. Akeel, who's going to be a big loss. But, I mean, the four kids that are going to play this year, four or five of them are going to be great players. And then up front, um, we're placing two defensive, defensive tackles. But, like I said, our DNs are going to be great. And the younger kids that are going to play, Ricky Holt, uh, Ryan Sosnick, they're going to be great players for us. So I'm looking forward to that. All right. Well, Dalton, Casey, thank you so much for joining us on Media Day. Enjoy the rest of the day. You guys open up, of course, on the West Coast against yeah. FBS opponent San Diego State. So good luck to you guys. Thank, thank you. I appreciate it. Absolutely. Let's